panic Call all your thoughts results of static claim Hard the details in the fabric Not all your the things that make you panic Call Is your brother nature's sewing machine Hold all the things that make you blow Shocked, it's just the fault of faulty manufacturing. Okay, I think this is on. Um, the camera on my on my laptop is not working, so I'm using my my digital camera. Um, so it's week eight here on the men's room, and this week's topic is. Dysphoria. Um, I don't think my answer is going to be like a lot of the other guys out there. Um, I, when I say I don't get dysphoric, I would say it's not in the extreme sense where most people think of the word, you know, dysphoria. It's this depression or anxiety brought on by almost the smack in the face that you're not male. Um, I don't get dysphoric in the shower. It's not when I go to pee. I don't pee standing up just because, I don't know, I find it cumbersome with an STP and it just, I don't know, I just don't do it. But, um, I would say, I wouldn't use the term dysphoric for what I experience. I would use that I have an awareness of my body at certain points in time. Um, I went to the beach this weekend for one of my friends has senior week this week. So, you know, I'm all red in the face because I got burnt. Um, but like, it, you know, being on the beach is one of those things that makes you extremely aware of your body because of the lack of clothing. Um, but I mean, I wear board, sh I wore board shorts and I wore my binder all weekend. Um, but I mean, I'm not someone who has to wear their binder when they're going out. Um. Like, I don't have it on now, and I went to class this morning like this. Um, if I was going to have a body part that makes me most dysphoric, I would say it's my chest. Um, except with my bi when I have my binder on, I'm not aware of it at all. Um, like, it completely eliminates the problem. If I mean, it's not a problem. It's just this almost heightened sense, I guess. Um, for me, I get, I mean, if you're going to take dysphoria as it's a depression about your body, um, I would take, I would say my trigger would be me thinking of what other people think of me, um, in terms of being trans. Like, how do they feel when they find out? Um. Like, I went down to the shore, and of course I didn't know all the people there. Introduced myself as Brian, etc. Um, but I mean, over the course of three, two days, you know, they figure out stuff. Because um, since I'm new to transition, you know, my friends that are there, you know, we had, we had quite, quite a few questions to answer. Um, but my, my triggering effect is how are people going to be reacting once if they know um, because I'm not on T yet I don't pass you know with a hundred percent I do pass fairly well though I would say I pass pretty well um, but I mean I start T in a month so um, what's the other question when you get dysphoric are you more sad or angry um, sad or angry? I would go with a. I would I would say it's a. Hmm, that's a good question. 
because I'm not reacting to seeing my body or it being like a self-induced thing, um, it's more of this fear um, of how people are going to react, I would say. How do you deal with your dysphoria? Um, I just kind of take it in strides. I don't really... I don't like to concentrate on it, just get my mind off things, you know, maybe I'll go draw or go bike riding or work out or something. Um, I don't like to dwell, I won't dwell on the subject of being trans if people around are not people I'm close with or like I just met them, etc. So that's my take on dysphoria. Um, next week we're talking about the silent T. I already did a video of this on my personal channel if you want to look at that, but I'll do it. I'll redo it for for next week. Um, it's an interesting topic considering this Sunday is Pride Parade and then I make my video Monday. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys are having a good week. Um, I hope you're not in as much pain as I am. I'm burnt like nobody's business. I'm so red, so red, <laughs> um, but yeah, peace out.